you know, has like, uh, I would say, three or four main lines, depending on how you count for them. So one is education, which is the obvious one, which is where we come from and um, what I personally work with very actively. That is, uh, originally was used to learn and teach all digital technology. Uh, and currently it's also used in industrial uh, processes and machinery. Um, the last year I've been collaborating a lot with Lulia University in the north of Sweden. They are uh, involved in a lot of space activities. They, they're launching missions together with NASA and, uh, and the Japan Aerospace Agency and so on. Everything from very the most mundane kind of like simple machine to very complex scientific cases. Constraints for the first Arduino circuit board came from thinking about how should we think about building a system that will be used by students in class that is very robust and can be reused multiple times. And also it's so inexpensive that if you want to leave it inside the object you built, it will just stay there and you can go buy another one. The collaboration with uh, the Roberta editor, for example, is very interesting because Roberta editor brings a standard way of doing block languages for embedded devices. There is a lot of alternatives right now. There's alternatives that are supported by individuals, there's alternatives supported by smaller institutions, but I mean, having one that is actually supported by such a large institution, institution as the Fraunhofer Institute is, is very good because it offers a certain degree of quality, both at the technical level and uh, on the, let's say, community support level. Also, we, we have some uh, synergies, like we've got to know that uh, Robert is really meant for teachers to learn how to teach all the data technologies, which is something that is very much in the Arduino education mission. So there is a very strong potential synergy there. Thank you.